So we're gonna learn how to do a chest press to avoid shoulder pain. When most people are doing any kind of chest press, whether it be flat or incline, uh, they're pressing here, so at like a full 90 degree angle. Um, and that's great for your chest. It could also put a lot of strain on your shoulders. So to still get great chest activation and avoid shoulder injury, I want you to go from here, from pressing this way, to tucking your elbows. So think like a fighter or a boxer, they're pressing from the middle of their body. That's where you're gonna get the most force from. And I want you to do the same thing. We're gonna initially put the weight on our lap, okay? And then from here, we're gonna use the momentum to change back, plant our feet flat on the floor, and see how my elbows are tucked, as opposed to flared out. So tucking my elbows at a 45 degree angle, and then pressing and meeting in the center of my body. I don't have to clang the weights together. I do have to meet and squeeze in the middle of my body. Once I'm done, bring the weights back up. So again, we wanna make sure we're not flaring our elbows. Again, if you are here and flaring your elbows out, you're gonna get a great chest workout, but also put your shoulders in a very vulnerable position. So tuck your elbows when you're pressing to save your shoulders.